Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Rio Ben Lardy Zabal. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to Woody Aragon and Penn and Teller Fullest. But before anything else, let's roll that intro. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you like magic, do consider subscribing me down below and press the bell button for the notifications for more of my latest magic videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Woody Aragon. By the way guys, I actually met Woody Aragon on FISM Korea 2018. He is so good in card magic. Here's a picture of us. And actually, he's very, very good again in card magic. Let us see what he is in for us and let us see if can Woody Aragon full pen and teller. Let's find out. Hello, my name is Goody Aragon and I come from Spain. I come from La Mancha. I am the magician of La Mancha. I always been creative. It's like a fire inside me. You know? I was a composer. I created music for full orchestra and some soundtracks for video games. I have a theater in Madrid. Almost every wow. magician from Spain performed in that theater. To see my tricks spread around the world makes me proud. Ben and Teller performed in my trick love ritual in full ass in season three. For me, as a fan of them, it was incredible. I'm doing a trick that I think is great for TV because it's very visual. I know it's very difficult to fool Ben and Teller, so I try to change some things. I put and add details to fool the best magician in the world. All right. So guys, he's from Spain. He's got a... I'm pretty sure he's very good. It's the first time I am in this show, uh, not the first time I come to Las Vegas, I come very often uh, just to visit my money, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I must tell you that my magic is not so much about the tricks, it's more about my relation with the people, so I appreciate a lot that you are seated with me here at the table, but you see that there is an empty chair, and this is because I want to invite Alison, do you mind to join us? Yeah. Okay, Alison, thank you very much. Thank you. Alison, can you point the card? Please, can you point, mm -hmm. I don't know, any car here? This one? Okay, perfect. Okay. Can you point, I don't know, any car here? That one. That one or that one? Okay, as you want. A random one. card being picked. Okay. This car? Yes. It's okay? Yes. Are you happy with this? I am very happy. Oh, he's very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at the cars. Remember the car? I you remember the car? Okay, do you remember the yes. car? Yeah? Perfect. Can you? Oh, do you remember the car? Yes. Okay. Do you remember? Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to find the cars. In right, fact, let's see. Pepe. <laughs> I found yours. Okay. Because from the beginning I have a red car on the table. I don't know if you see, but I have a special red car here, and I'm going to see? show. you. Is the Joker. Joker. No. So this is not your car. No. But it's going to be. Because the Joker is wild. Look this. I read the card in the middle. And I sing. I sing. It's very important. And I continue ripping. Ta -da -da. Don't yeah, worry. See? I can afford The that. camera is so close, man. Let's see what will happen. <laughs> and you can see, I have pieces of Joker. And now, I take the pieces of this. I will put like this for the camera. And let's see. let's see. Can you name your car for first time? Five of hearts. Five of hearts. Let me try. Sure. Let's see what happened. Oh my god. And the what? Car not to any car. But the five of hearts. <laughs> what? Can tell her, did I fool you yet? No, okay. I am going to continue with your car. Okay. Your car is black or red? Red. red. It's going to change again? The red in yeah. of the five of, and the red of the back. Remember, the red of the, of the back. But can you name your car, Alison? It's the king of hearts. The king. Oh, this is a lot of colors. I will try. Perhaps it starts to look like a king. But look, look, look. What? It's not any king. If I did my work well, this is the king of hearts. And nothing left. You can see. 
And now I continue. Ripke, can you name your card? The eight of spades. Eight of spades. Uh, I this is something new, man. And you know what happened? Nothing happened. But <laughs> the second time, the second time. This is amazing. What? The card changed again, but it changed. What? It's not good. It's very good. It's very good. And not only that, not only that, I take that is so I strong. Take the four pieces. This is the big climax. What is your card? Jack of spades. No, Jack of spades in the world. Jack of spades. Because it's the most difficult card. I will try. I will try. Very difficult. Eh? Let's yes. see. Let's see. Yes. It's gonna change. Ah! Oh. Not only that. If I put the Jack of spades through there. Very, very good. It restored as well. What? His hands is empty. Oh my god. He is so good. So let me pause that for a while guys. And there are a lot of things that are happening right there. I can't really explain how he did it. But you know, um, the camera angles, you know, just... Uh, moved away. I didn't see any switch there, but it's so strong. His card magic again is so strong. Uh, comment down below, guys, what you think of his performance, and let's see if he can fool Ben and Teller with this kind of magic. It's so strong. Let's find out. Wow! I love your style. Oh, thank you. It's so social. So, why did you decide on this trick? It's a trick that is very good for TV, I think, because it's very visual. So when Penn and Teller first saw you were the next magician, Penn got very upset. Yeah. <laughs> he got pretty mad. Yeah, we, we know each other, and, and they know the kind of style that magicians from Spain, because the school we have, we do. And they say, every, every time we see magicians with a deck of cards from Spain, <laughs> we know they will perform. Yeah. Well, I think that's a really good compliment. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The more he yells, the more it means you're, <laughs> you're a threat. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, Spanish I'm magicians. <laughs> Spanish magicians are so strong in card magic, guys. I can talk to you forever, but I guess I have to talk to those guys too. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ken, Teller. Woody, 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 Woody. Oh. We probably should just hand this to you. For people who've watched a lot of Fool Us, people who've seen Penn and Teller live, they know that we do a thing called Love Ritual. Yeah. It's a trick we do in our show that the audience loves. And that trick was created, invented, written, entirely thought up by this man right here. Oh. So there is, for all the shows we've done, closing our show with a trick by that man it seems like gentlemen would just say automatically you win but no we're not going to do that because that <laughs> wouldn't be fair to you yeah no it wouldn't we're going to give you the respect to try to bust your ass <laughs> and i gotta tell you we were watching you so much closer than we watch anybody else oh and i gotta tell you we enjoyed it the audience just lapped it up they were out of their minds level. Lapped it up. Here's the thing he does. If you're studying this, he did the thing that's the most important thing you can do, which is using slightly different methods for what looks like the same trick. Just slightly different moves, just enough to screw us. Yeah. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, the Joker idea, Joker changing another card, is a uh, is an idea you see a lot in magic. Ripping it up and having the piece rip it, just brilliant. Just the kind of brilliant plot you'd come up with. And you've had a huge amount of success in Spain. You must have enough money that you're going to keep it in one bank. You keep it in several banks, don't you? <laughs> and uh, I don't think, I don't think you fooled us, Woody. Okay. Woody, what do you think? Did, the, did he give you enough clues? I guess, yes, I guess, yes, I guess. All right, well, you didn't fool Oh, man. So sad. Thank you. Thank you. 
So there you have it guys, that was Woody Aragon on Pen & Teller Fool Us. If you're watching this Woody Aragon, congratulations to you. Even though you didn't fool Pen & Teller, is you are still so good in card magic. Again, uh, comment down below what you think of his performance. Now my closing thoughts again, uh, I'm gonna base it of course on Pen & Gillette's uh, uh, comment about lap and bag. Those two things that he just mentioned, uh, I'm pretty sure Woody Aragon understood that. Of course, of course, if you're a magician, you also understand that lap is uh, lapping is part of uh, a magic which you can learn by Slidini. He's very good at lapping. Again, the bag mentioned. I'm not pretty sure what he's talking about, but for me, it's, uh, let's see that. That's, I think it's a card, and it's like a type of bag card, something that you can insert the cards there and. There's the you know maybe there's the the switch that that is happening there, but I am not pretty sure how many times Woody Aragon switch the small card that which is called the bag. But guys, again, comment down below what you think of this performance. It's so complicated, and I can't really really decipher that kind of magic. It's so strong. Again, Spanish magicians are known for card magic. So again guys, if you did like my video, like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and press the bell button for the notifications for more of my latest magic videos. Again, this is Ria Ben Lardy Zabal. See you in my next video.